Hello, in this quick tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to install and run the Belcher Diagnostic Macro that I've written for Microsoft Word. This tutorial will cover how to run the macro on Windows, but the basic steps are the same on Mac, and I'll point out where they differ. First, in the Readings folder on Blackboard, open the file labeled Belcher Diagnostic Macro. When you click on the link, the file should open and show some code like this. If the file doesn't open, you can download it and open it in a text editor like Notepad. In either case, hit Ctrl A on the keyboard if you're on Windows or Command A on Mac to select all the text. Then hit Ctrl C to copy the text. With the code for the macro copied, open a copy of your document in Microsoft Word. If you haven't already, save a separate copy of the file just in case something goes wrong. From the main toolbar in Word, click on the Developer tab. If you don't already have Developer Mode activated, I've included a link in the description on how to activate it. Within the Developer tab, click on Macros and you should see a dialog window pop up. If you're on a Mac, you can access this window by clicking the Tools menu at the top, then select Macros, and select Macros from the nested list. Within the Macros dialog box, select, select the top text field and type Belcher underscore diagnostic. You can name this whatever you want, but it's useful to have a descriptive title. And then hit Enter. This will open a Microsoft Visual Basic Editor window with an empty macro called Belcher Diagnostic. Select all the text in the window, or hit Control A and then press Control V on the keyboard to paste in the code for the Belcher Diagnostic Macro. Once you've pasted in the code, you can close the Visual Basic Editor window and it will save automatically. Now, if you go back to the Macros menu, you should see the Belcher Diagnostic appear in the list. Select it from the list by clicking on it and then click the button labeled Run. Depending on the length of the document, the macro may take a few seconds to run. Once it's finished, you should see a variety of colorful highlights. After your document is highlighted, to analyze your sentences and identify where you might need to make changes, you can read page 259 of the PDF uh, on Blackboard titled Belcher Editing Your Sentences in the Readings folder. The Belcher Diagnostic Macro Key file in the readings folder also provides a key for any differences in color between the scan chapter and the Microsoft Word highlights. This macro should save you a lot of time and help you save space and write more effectively. If you want to save even more time, you can add a shortcut to the macro by customizing the ribbon in Word. When you're done editing and want to turn off the highlighting, simply select all of your text with Control A, go to the Home tab, or under the font section, click on the drop down arrow next to text highlight color and click no color. You can then save your document as normal. Happy editing!